Sarah Sidney's Runaway Adventure by Pam Schiller. Sarah Sidney's owner scheduled a trip, so she called Mrs. Kravitz to come pet sit. She showed Mrs. Kravitz how to prepare Sarah's foods and how to read her iguana moods. She explained the importance of a daily outing and warned Mrs. Kravitz that Sarah didn't like shouting. You must never, she said, whatever you do, take Sarah outside at half past two. Sarah's owner left the next day, and Miss Kravitz came to stay. She had no trouble fixing Sarah Sidney's foods or reading her funny iguana moods. But when it came to Sarah's walk, Miss Kravitz had a mental block. Do we go for our walk at half past two, or do we never walk at half past two? Miss Kravitz just couldn't recollect what Sarah's owner said in that respect. So she got Sarah ready, and out the door they flew, just as the clock struck half past two. At the very same time, out of his door with a clang, came the neighbor next door, Mr. Bojang. And at the same time, there was even more noise as the school bus arrived bringing home girls and boys. Sarah Sidney startled and then went berserk, and Miss Kravitz tumbled down when the leash gave a jerk. The children gave chase, as did Mr. Bojang, but Sarah ran faster away from the gang. She ran through the park and through the stoplight. She ran so fast she was soon out of sight. She found a quiet place under some thicket, where she listened to the song of a happy cricket. The cheerful notes of the cricket serenade helped Sarah calm down. She was no longer afraid. She thanked her new friend for his cheerful song and headed home feeling happy and strong. Miss Kravitz was searching all around with concern. Her heart skipped a beat with Sarah's return. Oh my, she exclaimed, I'm so glad you're back. You almost gave me a heart attack. She took Sarah's leash and led her inside and said out loud with a great deal of pride, I have learned my lesson through and through. We will never go for a walk at half past two.